Hi, Aquarius. Welcome to your end of March general forecast. This is Mary. This is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome. So Aquarius, we're going to take a look at the energy around you at this time. It could be love, general, career, finance. We're going to take whatever energies come out. So please only take what resonates. Um, it may or may not be for you. So please don't try to make it fit if it's not your reading. Um, it's not your reading. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female. Watching this could be past, present or future. So let's see what we have for you, Aquarius, at this time. So with this deck here, this is a Zodiac Oracle deck, so we get a sign, element, or planet. See if this resonates for you. But then we'll pick an, a card here for an opening message, and then one more for your energy. We'll clarify that energy with the tarot. Whatever comes out here, we'll look at the situation, get advice, possible outcome, extra messages with healing the fairies, and then we'll get... This here is some cards I got at the Dollar Tree, actually. They're prayer cards, or you could call them affirmation cards and I'll pull one of those for you at the very end so let's see what we have for you Aquarius at this time do say at this time um, if you'd like to watch past readings links are in the description for your love and general playlist also the decks I'm using social media links how to reach out for personal reading if you'd like to tip donate send a gift all that information is in the description box below as well as the pin top comment and if you're not comfortable using PayPal to do an energy exchange or a tip donation, if you watch this during the premiere and during the premiere only, Super Chat is open and available for donations or energy exchanges. And if you do, thank you. Okay, Aquarius, let's see what's going on for you at this time. Let's see what we have for Aquarius at this time. All right, we have Taurus. That is so funny. My sister is Aquarius and her man is a Taurus. Wow. This may be for you. <laughs> okay. Taurus. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. Or maybe you could have Taurus in your chart. Taurus does represent the Hierophant and the mi uh, Major Arcana, which is about marriage, commitment, um, values, morals, faith, spirituality, um, all that kind of energy and also institutional things like you know the government and education and structure and all those kind of things all right so we'll see how this plays in all right Aquarius let's get an opening message for you at this time for Aquarius spirit please opening message for Aquarius at this time what is the opening message for Aquarius Oh, that's too many. That's like four or five there. I want one for the opening message for Aquarius, please. Thank you so much. Opening message for Aquarius. I'll take that one. And we have the world. Archangel Michael, I am I a very happy ending, coming full circle, spiritual growth and insight. So this is closing old chapters and starting new chapters, a whole new world whole new cycle, a whole new chapter, and closing things that are no longer serving you here. Coming full circle also could speak of, and my cat's going cuckoo. So if we hear that uh, scattering, that's my cat on the linoleum going spastic. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> oh, all right. <clears throat> so a happy ending here, and it could lead to commitment with the Taurus or just a commitment in general, uh, even marriage. All right, so in, when you get to the world, the 21 is world, is the last of the major arcana. So this has been, you've been through all the challenges, all the trials, tribulations of the major arcana. You've been through that whole cycle, and now you're ready to start over, and the next card will be the fool, taking a leap of faith, and then one man, uh, the magician, manifesting a brand new beginning. So... You, I feel like you've been through everything here. You've learned all your lessons. And now you're just ready for a brand new beginning. All right. So, oh, that's too many. One for the opening energy for Aquarius. What is their energy like right now? Feeling that one. And we have the Queen of Gabriel. This is the Queen of um, Wands. Passionate, charming, brilliant, independent. You can do anything right now. Go after what you want. The ability to attract helpful people. So this is, um, and you are air sign. Maybe you could have heavy fire in your chart. Um, <clears throat> Leo Sag Aries. 
male or female, doesn't really matter. So this is being fiery, a go-getter kind of energy, going after what you want, a lot of drive, ambition, and passion. And you can do anything right now. Go after what you want and the ability to, it could be someone, you could be somebody a very, attract, very attractive who also attracts people to you also. So let's see. And this, you know, the Queen of Wands sometimes can be um, entrepreneurship, creative, ideas kind of energy also. So let's see what's on the bottom. So we have the Five of Pentacles energy. You needn't go through your current challenges alone. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. So this is about lack right now. Um, it could be monetary lack. It could be abandonment, left out in the cold, um, lonely, or monetary. So, But I feel like you've been through those challenges. And now you're strong, independent, fiery, passionate. And you've been through all those challenges that led to the completion, the last card in the major of the world. And you've felt, you've been all through those challenges of feeling neglected, lonely, left out in the cold, abandoned, monetary lack, all those energies of life, I feel. But we'll see. We're going to clarify this energy with the tarot for you, Aquarius. <clears throat> I want to say thank you to all those who have supported me in the channel in any way. Thank you, thank you. And in appreciation of reaching 10,000 subscribers, which we did, um, I think about maybe a month, no, not quite a month ago, a few weeks ago, um, I'm having a giveaway, if you have not heard already. So if you like to participate in the giveaway, you will win a tarot deck and also a free 20 minute ring reading of your choice by me. So if you'd like to enter that contest, that giveaway, please check the description box and the pinned top comment on how to enter. Be open through March, and I will pick a winner in April. And if you do, good luck. Okay, so what's all this energy for for Aquarius? For Aquarius, spirit, please. Thank you so much. Well, we have the Nine of Cups, so this is wishes and dreams coming true, joy and happiness and fulfillment. So yeah, so you got fulfillment coming in here, happiness and joy. Six of Swords, going in a better direction, a more peaceful, calmful place, sailing into calmer waters here, getting in your boat and heading off to a much better place. I feel like leaving all those issues of the past behind. You've already been through everything and now you're just ready to sail off to your new beginning. Nine, it's also almost at the ending of a cycle, beginning of something new. But that is about wishes and dreams coming true. King of Swords, so that's your energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And the Queen of Pentacles. So we got a lot of energy here. We have two queens and a king. So you could either have a lot of people around you, or you're taking on all this energy. The ear energy, the pentacle energy, the fire energy. You know, now being fiery, passionate, go-getter, but also stable, grounded, and secure. Um, as you see the chest here with all the pentacles. Having Now having abundance in your life. Now having truth and clarity with the king of swords. That is your energy right here. So, <clears throat> so the queen of wands is your opening energy. So I feel like that is your energy. Of now, even though you're an air sign, you're in the energy of having that fire and passion and drive. Again, you know, this could be male or female. Seven of Cups here. So, you know, feeling a little confused maybe at times or different, a lot of different options or decisions needing to be made here <clears throat> for your future. Daydreaming about your future as you're transforming. And that is the truth of the matter here with the Ace of Swords. Wow. Brand new beginning based on, here's your brand new beginning. Here's the world completing all the chapters of life, ready for a new beginning. And here's your new beginning with the Ace of Swords, based on truth and clarity, cutting away things no longer starving you, learning all your lessons and cutting away challenges and lessons and ways that don't work, sticking with what does work. Epiphany, aha moment. open on its truthful communication. So you have your energy here and your energy there. And in the middle, 
as being stable and grounded, fiery, passionate, as you're transforming, going through life, making choices and decisions, and daydreaming about your future, what's to come, as you're getting your wishes fulfilled and sailing off into a better place. I feel like leaving behind this Five of Pentacle energy. Let's look at the situation here, the Four of Wands. So there's your ceremonies, there's your celebrations, moving in together, marriage, commitment, stable, happy home and family life. And there's the Ten of Cups, happiness and fulfillment, happy home and family in every single way. So you get the wish fulfillment with happy home and family and marriage and commitment and <laughs> soulmate, twin flame. Wow. Wow. Okay. So now we, now we have the Princess of Pentacles. So this is the Page of Pentacles. So this is communication. <clears throat> Somebody could have wrote you a letter or wrote you a text or an email or something like that. Here's your brand new beginning in love. Somebody could have wrote you a love letter. Very stable, secure, sincere, grounded, practical. That led to this brand new beginning. Could have been an email, a love letter, a text, or something here. That led to this brand new beginning. Two brand new beginnings right on top of each other here. With the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Love, emotions, overflowing, overfilling, divinely guided. Truth, clarity. Stable, grounded. Fulfillment in every single way. <laughs> marriage or commitment, moving in together, stable, grounded home life. Wow. Wow. What else? Oh, I just want one more, one more for your actual situation here. Aquarius. Aquarius. One more. Knight of Wands now. So moving forward, a lot of drive, ambition, go getter kind of energy, very passionate energy. Moving forward in this love to the Ten of Cups, the Four of Wands. Wow. Somebody could have been an in and out person before, but now they are here to bring stability into this by finally expressing how they feel, wanting this brand new beginning in love, shedding truth and clarity here to the Ten of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Twin Flame, Soulmate, Wishes and Dreams Coming True. Wow. So let's see what the advice advice for you Aquarius advice for you Aquarius two of Pentacles so it might have seemed like you know things were very imbalanced at one time <coughs> I'm sorry I did have the flu a few weeks back and I still can't get over this coughing and a little bit of congestion so please please be patient with me <laughs> Any negative comments will be deleted. Wow. Okay. Oh, we got temperance here. And do have the six of cups energy. It was in reverse, but it went flying on the floor. So here's balancing out of the energies, peace, harmony, patience. To have patience, here's your advice. Things may be imbalanced right now. You know, this the energy is here for all of this, and maybe right now it maybe it hasn't really come forth yet. And you know, feeling a little imbalanced, like juggling, like is this ever gonna happen? But here's the temperance angel, which brings the soulmates back together. And it's divinely guided energy, it's peace, it's harmony, it's balance, it's having patience energy. And this definitely is a soulmate here, six of cups energy. Could have had past lives with this person. Or someone you've known since childhood or someone you've known for a very long time definitely is soulmate energy here so here's the temperance angel bringing the soulmates back together after a period of juggling this connection around or feeling imbalanced like it wasn't going to happen that's the advice is that the soulmates will come together here wow just want one more for the advice for aquarius the world again so definitely here cycles closing out and new cycles are starting here with the world energy a whole new world with your soulmate the being divinely guided brought back together after a period of feeling imbalanced so just to know this will happen 
maybe slow moving with the pentacle energy and that's why you're feeling unsure if it's ever going to happen but two is also about unities and making decision so that's the advice is to know that this new cycle will be coming in with the soulmate have patience just be patient maybe slow moving so what is the possible outcome for you aquarius the three of swords so this is heartache pain heartbroken energy so why is that here for a possible outcome the empress and I definitely felt all that energy because we have wands, fire, swords. Uh, we didn't get the king or queen of pentacles, but that's like almost being in the um, empress energy. So this is knowing your value and worth, birth of something new. All right, so growth and abundance. So what else for the possible outcome here? Ten of Swords. This is a painful, heartful ending. Oh, we have all this fantastic energy here, but then for the outcome, we have a hurtful ending with heartbreak, but somebody here knowing their value and worth and being in this, you know, Emperor Empress energy of rising above that. Oh boy. So let's see. Why is the Three of Swords here? Why is the Three of Swords here for this possible outcome? So we got the Four of Swords. That's healing. Healing. Two of Swords about indecisiveness. And the Tower. Wow. So all the energy is here for this to come to fruition, but somebody in the long run may be indecisive or there may be an argument or a blow up about this which will need uh, healing over this energy. Wow. <laughs> so why is the Ten of Swords here? Is this just going to end? All this fantastic energy. And now, when it comes to the outcome, things take a change, a turn. Wow. Okay. So why is the Ten of Swords here? So now we have the Queen of Swords. So we do have a matching couple with the King and Queen of Swords. Look how nasty she looks. Look how mean and nasty. Somebody cold-hearted here. Hmm. All right, so why is that here? And I mean, that's your energy. I'm not saying you're cold-hearted, but swords is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We do have a matching couple. But here's healing. Faith, hope, optimism, wishes, dreams coming true. Divinely guided energy. And that's your energy, Aquarius. <clears throat> so if, you know, all the energy is here, judgment, having to make a final decision, judgment call, could be about forgiveness, soulmates coming back together. There may be a period where you have like an argument or a big blow up about how this is going to go and move forward. And, but I do see there's healing on both sides over this. Because we do have conflict here about how is this unity going to move forward. And maybe an argument or a blow up of some kind. Which will leave someone here a little broken hearted thinking it's over. But then we have healing coming in. And then a judgment call here to resurrect this, forgive this. The soulmates come back together. So what will the judgment be? What will the judgment be? Will the soulmates come back together in the long run? Or is this the end of it? Princess of Wands. That's a page of wands. That's good news. Fiery, uh, passionate communication. And the Wheel of Fortune. So things going in a better direction. Fate, destiny, divine timing. Um, new growth, expansion. We have all four seasons here. So this is going to take time to heal, to mend, to move things forward figuring out the way that works best for the two of you. So all the energy is here and this new beginning coming in, but then there may be some sort of fight or argument about how we move this forward, how this is going to happen. But then ultimately there is healing, forgiveness, and uh, communication, okay, forgiveness. 
things going in a better direction here, I feel. So now we have the Queen of Wands again at the bottom of the deck. So again, fiery, passionate energy. Seven of Wands, you know, not to give up, to keep fighting for this. Two of Wands here, at, you know, at a crossroads here. Stalemate, but how can we make plans and decisions to make it work now? It is a very strong bond with the Strength card. Having that strength and courage and willpower to do this. Now we have the King of Wands. So we have a lot of matching couples here. So this definitely is soulmate energy here. The King and Queen of Wands. Uh, definitely here. It's a soulmate energy. So let's see. We have uh, Leo Sag Aries. We have Leo. We have Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Gemini Libra Aquarius. Uh, Virgo Taurus Capricorn again. Leo Sagittarius, Sagittarius, um, Scorpio, Aquarius. The Empress here is, I believe, Libra and Taurus. Aries, Scorpio. So a lot of different energies. So I do see, you know, the I do see soulmates coming back together. But then there's going to be, I feel, an argue, argument or a big disagreement. And this could be the Five of Pentacles energy of know maybe come together but then a separation again because there's a fight or argument about how we move this forward for this new beginning but then ultimately there is forgiveness resurrection soulmates coming back together again and this time it going in better better uh the second time around than the first time because there will be healing and divinely guided energy and with the wheel there that's divinely guided energy also something meant to be something going in a better direction all right, Aquarius. All right, I'm going to say the second time will be, second time around will be better than the first time. It'll work, this will work the second time. So it may even be the third time <laughs> or fourth time, maybe the fifth time. I don't know. However many times it is, finally, this will be the last time where this, it finally works this time. All right, so Aquarius, if you are new, you can please uh, feel free to check out my channel. If you like my style and how I read, uh, feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. I do about five readings right now. Two love, two general, and a bonus. But I'm thinking of switching it up. But if you like to go to my community page, you will find two polls there. I would like everyone to participate in it. It would give me better clarity on what kind of readings you would like to see. And I have also been thinking about doing extendeds on Vimeo at a small cost. So please go participate in those uh, polls. Be greatly appreciated. And thank you. So we have detoxification here. So this is getting away, uh, getting rid of negative patterns in ways that don't work here between the two of you. So finally, you can have the soulmate union work this time. All right. So what else? What else for you, Aquarius? Moving forward fearlessly. So not to give up. Keep fighting. Keep moving forward here. And we have a romantic partner. This is your soulmate. This is your soulmate. And it will work this time. This time you will know because you've been through all the challenges of all the mages of the world. And you've now learned all those lessons. And there may be one more lesson here to complete the world, to complete the cycle. And now you have the brand new beginning in love and truth and clarity. All right. So... Let's get a closing prayer for you, affirmation for you, Aquarius, from these cards. See what we have for Aquarius, please. What do we have for Aquarius for their closing affirmation or prayer? Wow. Okay. <laughs> Wowzers. Okay. I made a mess of my cards, but that's all right. Let's see what this one says. Blessed is she who has believed that the Lord will fulfill, would fulfill his promises to her. So this is your person finally fulfilling his promises to you. And it will be blessed this time. Wow. So that is your message. Wow. And I know it says the Lord, but I just feel like now this time the promises will be fulfilled. And this time it will be blessed. And to keep believing in this connection as hard as it's been through all the cycles, all the challenges, all the lessons, 
I think now this is the final time. You learn the final lesson. You learn the final challenge. And now you finally realize how to make this work, Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.